Hey there, Adurs. My name is Jose Ignacio, and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to examine how the administrative team of a leading furniture reseller uses Odoo to keep their operations running smoothly. As many of you already know, going digital isn't just a trend like AI. Looking at you. It's a game changer when it comes to boosting productivity and profitability. Think about it. Digitizing documents can save hours with no more digging through stacks of paper to find that one invoice. And when it comes to compliance, because Jose Ignacio believes in compliance, well, having everything safely stored and backed up can help avoid some serious headaches down the road and even legal trouble. And Jose Ignacio respects the law. It also makes your business more agile. Remote work, no problem. Plus, it's a greener way to work. Less printing, less waste, more trees. Typically, companies receive important docs like bills, letters, and contracts by email or regular mail. The admin team is then in charge of sorting and routing these documents to the right people. With Odoo, that process becomes faster, smarter, and a whole lot easier. So, enough chit-chat. Let's take a look at how all of that works. Alrighty, we're starting off in the Documents app, where you're going to find a nice layout that makes organizing easier. On the left-hand side over here, you have different workspace folders. These are essentially categories to help you stay organized. You can also filter your documents by using the search bar up at the top. Maybe you need to find a little item from a specific project or perhaps a contact or an invoice. Well, you could do that up there. Now, if we click into any of these folders over here and we select our action menu and then share, we get this nice little pop-up. Now, inside of this pop-up menu, we have options for adding specific people or email addresses while also allowing us to manage general access. This is essential if you prefer internal users to have something such as editor privileges, while anybody with this link might have no privileges. But let's assume that I'm not trying to change the files there, but I need to put new files. Well, to do that, we select new up the top left and then upload and drop your documents straight into your Odoo database. Now, the nice thing about why you'd want to keep your documents inside of Odoo, well, it's its built-in full resolution upload ability. Your images won't have pesky compression, just full DPI goodness. You can also select multiple files if you'd prefer to move things around. Like if we select one there and then use our nice little OS modifier key, I'm on a Mac, so mine is command. We could select and deselect multiple files if we'd like. This is specific if you'd like to have specific actions to that. You need to move multiple files or maybe you need to download them. Find more info about that inside of our documentation. Okay, but... Let's assume that I'm just moving one item. Well, do I have to do anything? No, you could just drag it around and then drop it somewhere else. Maybe it's in the wrong workspace folder. It's as easy as organizing files on your desktop. Now let's take a look at what happens when we open up a document. So I'm gonna go to the all workspace folder and we're gonna scroll down until I see something interesting. Like this sample NDA PDF. As Ignacio knows a lot about sample NDAs and NDAs. Okay, so we have a nice full preview window over here and we can see our full PDF. Up at the top, we have options for downloading it, sending it to financing, sign and sharing as well. And if we go to our action menu over here, we have further things such as the ability to rename it, our info and tags, which I'm gonna select so you can see further how much you can change within this. And that also opens up our chatter if we'd like to talk about that. Really, you can see that Odoo keeps everything you need right here, beautifully streamlined in one place, and also makes it kind of easy to change things. But on the note of changing things and doing streamlined things, I'd like to talk about the fact that Odoo allows you to have different email aliases to receive documents via email. For example, I'm actually going to close out of here, and I'm going to go over to our finance folder. Now, while I still have that info and tags, thing open over here, you'll notice that we have a finance email alias over there. So what is that for? Well, this allows a vendor or somebody to be able to send a document over to this email address and thereby automatically upload it inside of Odoo. Yes, those attachments automatically get saved in the appropriate workspace for the corresponding department. This way, a vendor's email can be forwarded to this address, or you can make it even simpler and just share that. It makes it easy but I'm just talking about a whole bunch of things. I think it's time for me to show you what that looks like. So here we are inside of my inbox. And as you can tell, I've already got an email started over here. Our recipient is going to be that email alias that I just showed you before. Now for our subject, I'm just gonna title this invoice just to make it simple. I'm not gonna say anything because I'm one of those people. And then I'm gonna hit the nice little attach files paperclip. 
and we're going to send our nice PDF file. And for example, it's our sliced invoice. So once that this is all ready and uploaded, I'm going to hit send, blank this out, and the document will be on its way to Odoo. Let's go actually see what that looks like. Okay, so back inside of our documents dashboard, I'm going to head on over to our finance workspace folder. And do you see that? <laughs> it's our sliced invoices file. Dang, that was fast. Now for invoices and documents that you receive by not so fast snail mail, you're going to need to scan them. But don't worry, I know it sounds scary, but scanning doesn't have to be done one by one. You can scan documents in batches. Just ensure your scanner device is connected to your database via the email alias. And you should be good to go. Right now, let's exit the document by selecting our X at the top right corner. And I've uploaded something fun for us to try something out. Now, we're going to open up this mails underscore inbox PDF because, all right, let's say that you've just scanned a whole stack of docs in one go, but those documents aren't all the same. Some are invoices, others are letters, and they belong to different departments. No problem at all. Odoo makes sorting that a breeze. We can use our split PDF tool over here to separate and aggregate the pages accordingly. Then we can send them to the correct department. Now, as you can see, splitting is kind of intuitive inside of Odoo. Now we're looking at each page in the scan, and this one includes a few bills and a couple of letters. I can click on any page if I'd like to see it in full view and click away, just to kind of not look at it anymore. Now watch this. Um, I'm noticing on pages five and six over here, this appears to be the same invoice. So if I click that, they don't get split separately anymore. That was an easy fix. Now, let's say I want to process it all of but one of the pages right away. For example, I'm looking at this one, and I think it's just a letter. That's not a bill or anything. So we're just going to click on that blue little check, and that's it. It's out of here. Now, the, with the remaining pages selected, I'm actually going to click Create Vendor Bill. And just like that, vendor bills are created directly from the scan pages. No retyping, no extra hassle, no having to go move around. I'm going to send it right now to the, actually for this letter, I think I want to do something else with it. Let's select it for now. And what should we do with it, oh doers? I think I kind of want to take a closer look at this one. So let's just leave it as is and just leave it there for now. But I don't think this belongs to anyone here. So I'm going to move it over to internal. There we go. Out of sight. And that's splitting docs with Odoo and moving docs. So we just made those bills, but what the heck do they look like here? Let's investigate and head over to the accounting application right now to actually review this. So from the accounting dashboard, we're going to hit vendors and then bills. All right. I can actually see the ones that we just added, created by Mitchell Admin. I'm going to open up the Google invoice. Now, right away, you're going to see that Odoo has already created a draft vendor bill for us. And the original PDF is over here on the right-hand side, just so we can take a look at it. Now watch what happens when I hit reload AI data. Something kind of neat happens. Now Odoo's built-in AI goes to work. It scans the PDF, reads the content, and automatically fills in the details of the vendor bill, including things that might be missing. As you notice now our bill date has changed, our accounting date, and our due date. No manual labor is required. That made it super easy. And now that's everything that has been auto-filled for us, and everything looks good. All that's left to do for us is just to confirm it. And just like that, we're done. So, so far we've seen how Odoo handles documents that come in through mail or email and how easily they can turn into vendor bills with just a few clicks. But wait, there's more. The administrative department also handles many contracts. Now with Odoo Sign, those contracts can be reviewed and signed digitally in minutes. So in this case, HR needs to send out a job contract for a signature. So to handle that, we're gonna actually open up our documents application once again. And we're going to make our way, actually, we're already here, into the internal workspace folder. We're going to select our employment contract over there. Now, I'm going to tap on sign up here in the top center, and we're going to get started. So, actually, you'll notice over here on the left-hand side, we have a lot of different fields. Well, we can actually just drag them on and decide what we want to do. I'm seeing employee name over here, so I'm going to drag over name. And I'm going to grab this little corner and pinch it, just because people sometimes have longer names. Now I see date over there. Oh no, can we do that? <laughs> yes, we can. And I'm going to put that right there. Okay, so there happens to be one that's listed as an address. Now addresses can tend to be pretty long. So what would we do for that one? Well, an address is just text. 
So we can just drag this nice little text box, then grab the little black triangle corner, and boom, just like that, our first page is done. Let's scroll down. Do I see anything? Yep. Final one at the very bottom over here. We have one more that says it needs a date. But then I have something over here that says a signature. Ooh, Odoo even has something for that. Let's assume they want a very big signature. Okay, perfect. Okay, so to keep things all clean and readable, as you saw, I've been resizing all of these fields. Now, at the bottom of each of these pages, I've decided I want to add something that's kind of easier for people to do. Let's put the initials. Ooh, I get a prompt when I did that. We're going to, we can set a responsible person for this. I'm going to leave it at customer and I'm going to select add to all pages. And just like that, I don't have to think about it anymore. We've got it on all our pages. All right. With all of this set and done, we have our nice little customer initials. Okay. Lastly, now that the signature and everything is done and everything looks like it looks pretty good, I think it's time for us to send it. Now, when I do this, it's going to ask me to pick who I'm going to send this to. So for this one, I'm going to send it to a very special email. Just to make it a little bit easier for me. We're just going to create that real quick. Okay. And then we're just going to hit send. And just like that, off it goes. Okay, so initially the customer is gonna see an email with a big friendly button that says sign. This is an example of that. But once that they click it, they're actually taken back inside of Odoo and we're here, we're at our contract and we can actually just start. And this nice little thing over here on the left starts helping us autofill with its nice little check mark. Okay, what else do I need? Oh, I need an address, one, two, three, four. Need to remember this, Main Street, Buffalo, NY. And this is fake, YouTube. All right, let's hit next because I'm lazy. Ooh, my initials. Odorules at gmail.com. Um, I'm going to put JR just to make it a little bit clean. And then I'm going to set this to draw because I'd like to draw it. I can do this myself. I am an artist. No, I'm not. We're going to sign all of our pages just doing it this way. All right. Perfect, though, doers, bear with me. And then finally, we have our employee signature at the very bottom. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to draw this one. I would like to. All right, let's try our best. <laughs> We're just having one of those days, though, doers. Uh, let's just assume that this was good. And then I'm going to let the date just autofill for me. All right, perfect. Now, all we have to do is select validate and send completed document and our amazing cursive is on its way to the odoer who has to view it. And actually, we can actually now view the final document right away and we can even download it if we'd like to. Let's hop back into Odoo to wrap things up. All right, so here we are back inside of Odoo. Now, before we head into the documents app, I'd actually like to make a quick note that if let's say you created a couple templates and you feel pretty good about them, you won't find them inside of the documents application for editing. If you actually go into the sign application and select templates up at the top, well, there we have it. There is our template that we made earlier, all nice in its glory. So that is where you would go to do any edits. I just wanted to let you know. All right, let's head into our documents application over here. And oh, oh my, I see our beautiful cursive and everything, the signed employment contract PDF with today's date and everything. Ah, marvelous. Okay, so we've seen how to actually sign these documents that way, but what if I need to request it internally? What if I don't want to send it as an email? Well, let's assume this letter, I need somebody to sign the bottom of it. If we actually select our nice little activity thing and then schedule an activity, go to our activity type and I start typing. Look at that. You could request the signature right there immediately, making it kind of easy for you. All right, let's close that out. Odoo sign is just one of the many powerful actions that we can perform with our documents. But what if you want to take it a step further and assign follow-ups, create tasks, or even automate custom workflows? Well, you're in luck. Odoo has you covered. We're going to do something kind of advanced. So let's head into the Odoo Documents app again. And we're going to select this video Odoo Documents over here, this presentation. I'm going to turn it into a task for someone on the team to review and finalize. So let's create a task. Oh, no. Oh, no. Doopsie? Well, actually, if we go back to our action menu over here and actions on select, if we click on create a task and then we reopen it up here and then select more, now we could see that there. 
So this menu, I didn't cover it earlier, but it actually allows you to have a lot more actions when you select one of the items inside of the documents application. But let's go ahead over here and select create a task. Okay, so what are we gonna do for this one? So for this one, our project, I'm actually going to just do the sample one. Now inside of here, we can enter all the usual details, a milestone who's responsible, a customer if needed, a due date, tags, everything allocated, time and subtasks as well. That's how you do it that route, but obviously you'd have to do a whole lot more other things. But let's go back. Okay, so here we are back inside of the documents application. So in addition to the standard action options that you saw, you can actually create other ones. So let's actually go over here to the actions menu again. I feel like I'm saying actions a lot. And then we're gonna select automations. We don't have any right now, but let's make one. So we're gonna select new. All right, we have a nice little document over here. We're gonna call this custom presentations automation. Okay, our model is gonna stay as documents for right now, but our trigger, and you have a lot of triggers that you can select. I'm gonna do something cool. So we're gonna do tag is added. What this means is that when I add a specific tag to one of my documents, I want an action to occur. And I said this was a presentation. So we're gonna go with that. Now the nice thing is we have these domains over here that kind of let us know what's going on with them, but I'm not gonna mess with those right now. You can do that if you'd like, but we're gonna go immediately to this actions to do tab and select add an action. Now the very first thing I wanna do is update a record. Our allowed groups, I'm gonna leave blank and I'm gonna update over here and I'm gonna search for the word folder. And I'm gonna select it. And then I'm gonna select moving it to marketing. Okay, we're gonna hit save and new. So the nice thing is immediately when this happens, the presentation tag is added. The first thing it will do is it's going to move the actual file over to the marketing workspace folder. And isn't that kind of cool? Okay, now that we're done with that, I'm getting excited about this. We're gonna select create activity. And this time for our activity type, I'm gonna select email and the title is let's discuss, I might as well. A responsible person, Mark Demo. And then we're gonna hit save and close. Okay, so now I'm gonna hit save on this and go back to automation rules. And Odoo kind of shows you what's gonna happen right now. So if the tag is added presentations right there, it's gonna update the folder, plus create an activity, which happens to be that email. But does it actually work? Well, let's go back over to documents. We are breadcrumbs, which is Wonder Bread. We're gonna select the video documents. And you've been seeing me go to the action menu to do some of these things like info and tags, but you can also hit this nice little eye in the top right and let's add it in. And then we're gonna click away. And oh no, nothing's happened so far. That's right, you gotta refresh it. Now while this happens, if we scroll down, oh, it's disappeared. So the very first action did work, but let's go over to marketing. Oh, and there it is. And would you look at that when we actually click it? Oh, there's the email right there. Perfect. Everything worked out as it should have right there, O-Doers. Boom. Okay, I'm sure you've noticed that going paperless and embracing a fully digital approach has become the new normal. And as you just witnessed with Odoo, it truly couldn't be easier. If you're curious to explore the apps we showcase during this flow, along with many others, be sure to check out the rest of our e-learning videos. Unlike other business flows, the one you watched today used all the tools available to you without needing modifications or special settings outside of the ones I covered. Again, if you need any help with anything you've seen, leave a comment below, and I'll try my best to answer your questions, O-Doers. Until next time, O-Doers, go grab a snack.